All right, Joe. Got a 1980 Honda C70 Passport. Um, <clears throat> super clean. One of the cleanest ones I ever got. It's got it's so hard. I can't see the camera, so I hope you can see it. it's got 2,919 miles on it. Um, I got it in really clean condition, except uh, I needed some stuff. I mean, the rear tire wasn't even on the rim. I put a new uh, rear tube, new rear tire in there. I got a new battery in there. Um, I also got put in new rear wheel bearings and a new sprocket hub bearing. I uh, changed the oil, obviously ultrasonic clean the carb twice it wasn't even bad i think that's why it runs so good the cables are like they're so nice for original cables like they they look good uh front tire's got a little dry rot but it's i don't know it's driving fine like i go into corners and this thing like 20 miles an hour because you can just go into corners so easily uh it's even got the wire basket they never have the wire basket everyone takes them off it's got the original passport sticker, which is cool. It's starting to come off, but it's still on there. Um, let's see. No toolkit, sadly. It does have the chain guard, but I left that off for now since I'm still kind of just making sure the uh, chain is in the right spot. Or, well, not the chain, I guess. Let me rephrase that. The axle is in the right spot. Not sure if I have to move back yet or not. I kind of wanted to put a couple miles on it. Um, I got about nine miles on it. Um, but I just wanted to double check before I put that back on. I had to fix a couple blinkers. Um, I also put in a new gas tank. Uh, simply because I had a, a cleaner one. And it was easier than trying to clean out the old one. I uh, put new fuel lines. Uh, new fuel filters in there as well. Which... You all know this is it's not fun on this bike especially unless you get the nice thin fuel line so i made the mistake i went to the hardware store instead of like ebay i didn't plan i mean i didn't know i was buying this thing the hardware store has these thick ones they do not like going through there so if you can get the clear ones those are always better i mean that lasts as long but at least you can make sure your fuel is going in there um also i put clamps on them i put clamps like here here in front of the fuel filter for another fuel filter behind the fuel filter other fuel filter and on the gas tank uh no tool kit old battery leaked right on the swing arm so sadly missing a little paint there but this thing is super good so it's obviously engine's cold um so i wanted to give you authentic start here um, usually starts i don't know about second kick when it's cold um, I had to do a little blinker work. Right blinker works. Uh, left blinkers, I think, just stay on. Um, neutral light doesn't light up, but I do have another bulb for that. I did have to replace uh, the headlight from the sealed beam to uh, Dr. ATV beam, uh, 6 volt, which you can change the bulb, which is great, but there's a couple things worth noting. So there is a gap here now, which there wasn't. Um, we got this screw in here and then this side I had to relocate this rubber and put which was down here and put it up here and then put the screw down here um, so I don't know for 30 bucks I was kind of hoping this headlight would fit a little bit better um, I tried my hardest to make it fit it just wasn't happening so anyways let's start her up There we go. And then I usually just gotta get a little rev while the choke's on. Good to go now. Yeah, look at that. I mean, this is like, I've had a couple passports. I've gone through a couple of these, and it's like once you start finding them, they just start coming to you. Um, anyways, this one is just like. I would say it's the fastest. I, the rear bearing probably helped a lot, but um, man, it just it really cruises. 
think it gets up to about 37, 38. I didn't take it on any highways or anything, but it, it goes faster than the last passport I had, which uh, took me about a mile to get it up to, uh, I think, 40. That's the feet tucking in on it. I suppose we could go for the old, uh, go for a land speed record now. Also, I apologize. I wish I had one of those nice uh, microphones that they make for these, but I do not.